everyone, and welcome to Ohio Valley Couponer. So today I am here with something a little different, but I'm really excited to do this. It is actually a new series I'm going to be starting entitled Throwback Hauls. Um, I used to take pictures of like every single one of my couponing hauls long before I had a YouTube channel because I was always like, I don't know, I just kind of wanted to document my savings and I was always like pulling out my phone and showing people my couponing hauls and like how little I paid for stuff. I was so like excited about it. So I was always taking pictures of all my hauls and showing them to people. So I thought I would share some of them with all of you. So if this is something that you enjoy, please let me know in the comments. If it's not really something that anyone enjoys, you know, I'll probably not do it anymore. But hopefully it is something you enjoy. I always like seeing people's um, first hauls. And, and it's nice to kind of reminisce kind of on the deals we used to get and stuff. Because couponing definitely, couponing is still great, but it's definitely changed a little bit than how we used to do it. So I'm just going to show you a few pictures at a time, kind of discuss what I did and everything. So um, yeah, let's just dive right in. So this is my first ever couponing haul in 2012. Now, I was not at this point really doing extreme couponing. You know, I just saw it on TV, on TLC, if everyone, I'm sure we've all seen that extreme couponing show. And I was like, oh, I'm going to go in and get a bunch of stuff for free. Okay, no, that didn't work out. I was 12 years old at this point when I did this haul at Kroger back when they still doubled coupons. So, yeah, I put on my Facebook, I was like, I went out couponing today, but I'm never going to do it again because it's too much work. So here I just went in. I didn't follow any sales at all. And with my one newspaper that my uncle gave me his coupon inserts, I went in with his one coupon insert and just randomly picked up stuff I saw. So like the Pop-Tart Mini Crisps, I didn't think they make those anymore. I think I had like a 50 cent coupon or something. And at Kroger, if my coupon was 99 cents or less, they doubled it. So yeah, I had like a 50 cent coupon for that. I remember the Crave cereal. I want to say it was... 250 and I had a 70 cent coupon that doubled to a dollar 40 or something. So that was that. The Frosted Flakes, probably something similar. I think those skinny cow candies were 50 cents in the end. Pepsi next. I'm pretty sure they don't make that anymore. I, I don't see it where I'm at. I think I had like a 50 cent coupon doubled to a dollar. So I don't know. That might have been a good deal. I, I'm thinking that was 50 cents or something. This is my first ever haul. Now, like I said, after this, I thought I was done with couponing forever. I ended up getting on YouTube and I saw someone who was on the Extreme Couponing show on YouTube talking about couponing. So I was like, you know what? Let's try this again. And this time it really did stick, as you can tell since I'm here today. But I got better at it. This is one of my first hauls. This was at Kroger and Walgreens. At Kroger, that Minute Maid orange juice, I think it was like $2.49 and I had a 50 cent digital coupon, so $1.99. The Scott Paper Towels, that was at Walgreens. I think they were like $3.99 or something. I don't know. I was all excited about it. The All Detergent, that was, I remember after the coupons, that was $2.50. And I was like, I thought that was the best deal in the world. I'm getting all detergent for $2.50 and now I walk out of Walmart making money on all detergent but I was so excited to get it for $2.50 um and that scope mouthwash I think that was like my first freebie it was a dollar I think it was a dollar digital coupon so it was totally free that was a good deal or no it was a dollar insert coupon out of the P&G back in the day the P&G coupons weren't as exclusive as they are now so it like didn't exclude the size of mouthwash I was able to get that for free so that was my first, that was one of my first hauls. I was just, in the beginning, I just was not doing the couponing that effectively. But like this Gain Dish Liquid is at Walmart for 97 cents. And I was so excited because I had a 25 cent off coupon. So I was like, oh, I'm going to get this little dish soap for 74 cents. And now I get the big things of palm olive for like 50 cents. So yeah, I was not the best at it, but in the beginning, but you know, we all have to start somewhere. Now those Twisto crackers, I know they don't make those anymore. Those are really good. I'm not sure why they quit making them. They were a free Friday download at Kroger. It said they retailed for $2.79. The secret um, deodorizing, I don't know if that's deodorant or body spray. I got that from my grandma. It was, I think they were 99 cents after the coupons. It's crazy. Most of these products, I don't think they, I don't think they, I don't know if they still make that Purex no sort for color thing. I've never seen it. 
I remember I was so excited. I got a dollar fifty coupon in the Sunday paper. I think at Walmart it was two ninety seven. So it was a dollar forty seven for the Purex. So I was all excited about that deal as well. Yeah. Um. If you all enjoy this, like I said, let me know in the comments, and I'll be sure I have lots of other pictures so I could continue doing this kind of on a weekly basis. So let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this. And also let me know what your first couponing haul was. How did you get started? I'd love to hear. Like I said, I love seeing how people got started couponing. It's very um, cool to reminisce on where we all started and everything like that. Let me know what year you started as well. So um, yeah, that is all for now. And thank you so much for watching.